plaintiff, Deborah Ray, boarded the defendant's horse at her property, but she claims she also took guardianship of the defendant's newborn baby after she and the defendant tested positive for meth. However, she's suing the defendant today for breach of contract. Defendant Autumn Garrity Johnson says she and Deborah stopped getting along once Deborah started interfering in her relationship with her boyfriend. And then Deborah became vindictive. She's countersuing for unreturned property. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. All right, start with you, ma'am. Okay, I met Autumn in the end of December of 2019. A guy that worked for me on my property told me she needed a place to board a horse. So I talked to her, we agreed on her to board her horse on my property for $200 a month. This went along and she never paid board, but anyway, in April, Easter Sunday, her baby was born. They both tested positive for methamphetamine. I don't see she, where that's relevant. She asked me to be protector of her baby. I agreed to be protector of her baby. Yeah. Her and her boyfriend and the baby moved into my home that's relevant. May the 1st. Okay, she says she doesn't believe it's relevant. Why do you think it's relevant to her uh, boarding her horse for 200 a month? How is uh, it relevant? Her drug because and child. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, no, no, go ahead. Why do you think it might tie together? Because that's the whole reason she was on my property in my house. Why? Because I took her baby in to be protector. Okay. I asked her to live in my house while I had the baby with her boyfriend. There it is, That's the that's only reason relevant. she was in my house. So that's why it's relevant, ma'am. Now, I didn't hear about her moving in. I heard you saying you took guardianship of the baby, but she also yes, moved in? Yes, sir. Okay, because some guardianships, the child just comes. In this case, she came as well, and you took guardianship to keep the child from being removed, perhaps, from her? Y yes, sir. Okay. And I wanted to help her out because she'd already lost one child. Mm -hmm. And I believe her stories about how she went through rehab. I don't see And it was a false positive relevant. for the drug. Well, hold on. She still doesn't understand why it's relevant. You're being sued today regarding the use of her property. Part of the use of her property was the boarding. She's also telling me the motive behind the use of her property in addition to the horse boarding was using her property to house your child and you because of the guardianship that she took over your child. So she has every right. Those are very much connected. If your child didn't live on her property and you didn't live on her property, you are absolutely right. It would be irrelevant that this is certainly a part of the evidence to indicate whether you are a responsible tenant. That's what she's suing about, the tenancy of the horses. And part of that to prove whether you were a good tenant regarding the horse boarding is to demonstrate that you weren't a good tenant either as a uh, in-home guest. Uh, so there is some relevance. So how did that work out when she lived with you? Not too good. Why? As things move on, she got more and more irrational. She was sending me crazy texts. I was telling her boyfriend constantly, she's texting me again, make her stop. About what type of me, things? Telling me to keep my mouth shut. And, and uh, just, just all the time, it was always something. And she brought her dogs to the house. She brought chickens to the house. Her horse was there, her horse trailer was there, another vehicle was there. And she was never a tenant in my home. She was a house guest. And the suit that she had in me in our local community she claimed I was a vindictive ex-landlord that held her property hostage. I was never her landlord. I, she was a house guest. I was doing her a favor. I helped her every way her co I could for her to be with her baby. All right. Let me ask her, ma'am. Do you consider yourself a tenant at her uh, house? Yes, I did. And you had a court uh, filing regarding that? Yes, I did. And now I you don't want me to talk about it. <laughs> 
Now you don't uh, think that's relevant. You filed a claim. You thought it was so relevant, but now you don't even want me to talk about it. Or you don't want her to talk, tell me about something that you acknowledged in court documents. All right. And how did things come to a head with you, ma'am? She began <laughs> texting irrational day, things to you over the course and of- And she, she, would, she wouldn't clean house. She wouldn't do dishes. She wouldn't even get her nasty hair out of the bathtub drain. And I was very ill at this time. I'd already been in the hospital twice, the last time for 13 days. And I couldn't do anything. And she acted like she wasn't supposed to do anything. And the very last straw for me was she came out of her bedroom with a stack of dirty dishes that had mold growing all over them. I had already lost a set of dishes, two and a half sets of silverware. I had no glasses. I was down to two towels. And she left them on the counter for three days. Now, what about the boarding situation? Because that's what you're suing for today. And in the case of boarding, if you charge her 200 a month, you were the landlord for the boarding of her horse. Yes, sir. So tell me how that went. How did that go? Well, uh, I I offered her a first month's board of $200 Mm -hmm. for her boyfriend to help put the tin on the back of my pole barn. Mm -hmm. Only half of the job was done. And her, she paid me $60 in total in cash. And her boyfriend brought three bags of horse feed and a bag of dog food. And I gave her credit for all that in my lawsuit against her, which brought it to, I believe it's $1,768. Because her horse was there 11 months. It went from January 1st until November 30th. And you've got the paperwork where she moved her horse on November 30th. And you've got the agreement there where she actually couldn't do the math multiplication okay. where she said 200 a month times 10 comes to a thousand <laughs> minus the 200 you allotted Corey for doing work on my tractor. And I corrected her and said 200 a month times 10 comes to 2000. And I allotted Corey the $200 plus the hundred dollars for the half the work he did on the pole barn plus the $72 that he bought for the horse feed and the bag of dog food. I was never her landlord. I, she was a house guest. I was doing her a favor. I helped her every way I could for her to be with her baby. All right, ma'am. Do you consider yourself a tenant at her uh, house? Yes, I did. And you had a court uh, filing regarding that? Yes, I did. And now I you don't want me to talk about it. Plaintiff Deborah Ray claims she took guardianship of the defendant's newborn baby after she was born with meth in her system. Okay, let me hear from you, ma'am. Whatever background, and then you can address the boarding. In January, like she had said, um, moved my horse out there uh, to her property, and she agreed that Corey could work off the horse board because I was pregnant at the time. So she agreed to that. Corey worked on the tractor hydraulics. He worked on a rental property. He worked around the house, and... Everything was fine up until the point where she became pretty vindictive and spiteful because she no longer got along with me. And so then- in, Why was that? What happened with you all's relationship? She started texting his mom saying she didn't like how I treated him, just other stuff that a landlord should worry about. So then she wanted, um, 1600 and something dollars uh, for horse board in October when she decided to change the oral agreement that we had. Wasn't and the agreement 200 a month? No. It was Corey was going to work off the horse. Oh, there was no agreement to pay any money. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> no? That's a lie, Your Honor. Look at page okay. six. Six of your evidence? Yes, sir. It's a text? Is that what you? Yes, sir. Okay. It says $200 a month is what you told us. 200 times 10 is 1,000 minus the 200 I you said to find that. That's, $200 is $800. That's the end of the case. I need to find that. Ma'am, did you say that? You have, you text it's on text. I told her text whatever I had to it. because I had a new baby. Oh, you told her whatever you had to. Okay, up. you told her whatever you had to. Yes. Okay, and now you're telling me whatever you have to. <laughs> well, it didn't work oh, for me. God. It didn't work for me, and it didn't work for her either because you got sued. So you might want to start telling the truth instead of telling what you yeah. think you have to. I mean, I'm going to lie if I have to, which are dope fiend ways. So now I do believe you're a dope fiend, like she says. 
Your claim is dismissed and yours is granted. Have a good day. Thank you, Thank you for caring for the baby Thank at you very least. Much. God bless you. you. Have a good Thank day. That's what you get for lying, Autumn. That's what you get for lying. Yeah, she lied. She got caught in her lies. You got caught in your lies. You know you texted. You know you owed it. You know what you said. And you know yeah. I lauded Corey what he yeah. earned. You know good and well I gave him what he earned.